Thank you so much, Chip. Two techniques could get you in and out of the kitchen. Less time, less stress. Searing and blanching is what mm -hmm. we're talking about. Kent West, executive chef at uh, Eatsy's Market and Bakery. Great find. Two locations in Dallas. And as of two weeks ago, Plano. Plano, Parker in the Toll Road. Ooh, yeah, busy area. Busy area. Busy, busy. Been really busy. Had some really nice results the, the last little bit. Good, good. Good to hear. Now, I always thought of searing meat. I know you're supposed to sear meat, but we're doing fish, too. We are. We're doing the, just to show you how simple it is uh, with salmon. Uh, we don't have a grill in here, but I brought my trusty uh, cast iron grill, and uh, I've already grilled this piece off where uh, the meat or fish hits the heat. That's where you'll get your flavor. Okay. So you'll take a piece of fresh salmon, we'll season it, and we'll, we'll just sear it and get it going. Now, so you have that on high then, like I as do. high as you as can as possibly get it? Almost as high as you can, depending okay. on the oil that you use. That'll sear. That begins to sear. Uh, we use skin on salmon. Uh, that gives you a little bit of an insulator effect after when you turn it over, pop it in the oven, and you can finish the rest of your meal. The, uh, the point at which it's cooking is really nice. Somebody says how long, how, it depends on how high you're, how you're cooking. Some people like their fish cooked more than others. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, I, my always suggestion is always to cook it through. It's just where it almost meets so that there's no, there's no, uh, so the color looks the same. It looks the same. Okay. Okay. It's even. You can see. Right. Yeah, you can see right. it's cooked all the way through, mm -hmm. okay. and it's still a little rare in the middle. So here we're just going to continue that. And uh, what I have is a I blanch. I have not been a blanch here, but I blanch some asparagus. What blanching is? Somebody says I can't boil water. So that's all it takes. Boil water, salt your water, okay. in and out with your vegetable, whether it be asparagus, whether it be broccoli, whether it be green beans. You can do this in the morning while you're finishing up breakfast. Uh -huh. You can put it, uh, once they're in and out, in and out into the boiling water and into the cold water, ice water. It shocks it, stops the cooking, and it's all ready to go. Wow. I take it out that night. And, and what does it do? Just make it crispy or make it like, it what makes, does it, it do? It brings out the color in it. Makes it, it yeah, it, a yeah, lot makes better. it bright green. You wow. can cook it hard, uh, al dente, a little crunchy. Some people like it, or you can cook it all the way through. Now, can you finish it off then on the grill? Then when, a lot you, of times. when you there get you home, go. after you get home from work, exactly, Tim. You come in, pull out your veg, out of the fridge, hot saute pan, and away we go. Your dinner's almost ready, just like we have it here. It saves wow. you a lot of time. Though. It does. It does it that. This, this is the. You'll see the nice... Wow, that looks really nice. Gonna, it never looks like that at my house. It's even, <laughs> nice and even. This, that's that's yeah, the that's sear. Beautiful. And what you've done is that you've taken the entire taste and put it completely over the surface of it rather than just the grill. The grill is great, looks good, attractive, but salmon is salmon is meant for, uh, the, meant for the grill almost, yeah. and you can grill as big a piece as you would like. All right. What we have with this one, uh, you can build our caprese salad. That we oh, do yeah. with, with tomatoes, the tomatoes and as it's finished. Come back. Beautiful. We've got it. We've got the finished product right over here, all the we, way. On we the, do the, at the end it, of the table. Exactly. Or and one more thing that we can do, instead of just to really trick it out, you can add a, a, a little bit different twist with your salmon. If you've got different members of the family, you can split your piece. There you go. Do a little taper, extra virgin olive oil. We're out of time. Yeah. I hate to be yeah. rude here, but we're going to show the finished product in just a second and share the recipes and the ideas on myfoxdfw.com. We'll be right back.